Okay, let's see if it started. There it goes. Hey everybody, it's Margaret, and how are you doing today? In this video, I thought it'd be fun to go over and take a look at eBay UK and eBay France and see about another jewelry lot. I have gotten a jewelry lot from eBay France and one from eBay UK, and I was starting to pull some together because I was going to do a giveaway with parts of it, and then I was like, oh, I need a little bit more to put in this giveaway. So I thought, hey, let's go look together. If you haven't bought lots of jewelry before, this could be fun. Um, I have not bought a ton of lots of jewelry, but, hang on, let me move my chat over so I can see it a little bit better. Um, but I have gone on and looked at eBay UK and eBay France in the past. So, I've got too many things open. I am live. Hi in the chat. Nice to see you guys. So, let's take a peek. I pulled up eBay UK to start with. And so eBay UK, well, you can write in English. I'll tell you in, in, when we get to eBay France, you know, what, what to do. So generally, when I am looking for a lot, uh-oh, good gracious, I keep hitting buttons that I don't mean to hit. Hang on. Okay, there we go. Um, hi in the chat. Oh, dear. Look, I got all this set up, and then now it's being all funky funky. Well, hang on. Let me send this back. Maybe that'll help me. I'm trying to make it bigger so I can see the side, like the sorting it out on the side. Hang on, let me see. How big do I have to make it? Okay, well, we'll figure this out in a second. <laughs> hey, everybody. Okay, so I'm going to put on here vintage jewelry lot just to see. Uh, jewelry lot. And they often, yeah, I was about to say, they often call it a job lot on eBay UK. So, oh, there it is. Okay, it's because I didn't have that open all the way. So, um, there are many different lots. Generally, I like to look at ones that, um, maybe, I'm not talking about merch today, though. <laughs> I'm talking about jewelry today. Um, there are many different lots here that I like when they have them all kind of laid out so I have an idea of what I'm looking for or what I'm looking at. Um, and then there are some that are on auction and I'm going to be looking at ones that are buy it now because I don't have like any kind of swipe, sw not swiping, sniping or any kind of like thing like that where it like zooms in and like puts a bid in at the last second. Um, if so, I haven't really played around with any of those. These, some of these might be kind of fun to do because I see some really cool stuff. Um, this looks like it could be Bakelite or something. I don't know. I haven't zoomed it in, but okay. But I'm going to come over here and do buy it now. Hi, hi. Hi, thanks for coming to hang out, you guys. <clears throat> um, so, would I pay 25 It depends on the ring. So I'm going to open up in tabs a couple of these lots that look like they might be interesting to look at. And I'm, I don't know, depending on what's in the lot, I'm looking at buying, you hate buying lots, you can't stop. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'd like to spend $40 or less. So I want to see what I can get. Um, I don't really want to do broken. I really want to get something that's like resellable or things that I can put into, um, like if I do a giveaway, some for me to keep, some to sell, some to give away. Okay, so here's a lot. It looks like five pounds. That's pretty bad. That's not pretty bad. That's can't talk today. That's not bad. Um, here are some brooches. I'm just going to open this up in another tab so we can look at that one too. Uh-oh, I think I may have clicked on it. Um, if you were looking for lots, what would you look for? Um, here is $80. That's a little more than I want to spend right now. This one, I put vintage, but some of these don't necessarily look vintage. That's not too bad. Let me open that one up. But I like a mix. I don't want just like all brooches or all rings or all necklaces. Ah, I like this. Vintage lot designer Philip jewelry. Okay, does it come in the jewelry box? I guess maybe. We'll find out. Uh, that one's 85 pounds. Ooh la la, that's too much. Um, how do you get to... Okay, yeah, I just type in eBay UK into my like search and it pulls up eBay UK. And then same thing for eBay France. So, I mean, at the moment, I'm just kind of going, like, zooming through. What I might do next, because I just put in vintage, 
I might type in something like, oh, here's some cameos. Oh, that looks pretty, like a little painted one. Okay, let me open that in another tab. Um, something I like is like Art Deco, so maybe I'll type in Art Deco just to see if that's another keyword that might pop up. Some stuff. I had more luck on the France one last time. With oh, okay, here's a forty-five dollar lot. Maybe we'll look at that one. Do do do. Okay, so what I'm looking for when I look through the lots, I look one. Does it look like something I would want personally, or something that I would be able to resell? Does it look like there's I mean, reasonable looking pieces. Honestly, I'm like, four pounds 80? Is it? I mean, it seems too good to be true. Like, oh, $16 postage. I guess it just depends on the postage and everything. Sometimes they get you. Hmm. But I am looking for like a mix. Like, this looks like a, bit, a big mix. Let's look at this one. Okay. Let's pull this one open. All right. Let's take a look. Gorgeous lot of vintage jewelry. All wearable, it says. Okay. Let's open it up big. Can you see it? So, as I'm looking through it, hello everybody in the chat. Um, oh good, they have lots of good pictures. So, I don't know. Some of these like chain ones, I mean this is a cool like blue stone down at the bottom. It looks kind of like maybe sodalite or something like that. Uh, this kind of serpentine necklace looks kind of cool. But I'm not into like these beady ones. I think this blue and black one could probably sell. That's, I mean, it's not bad. This looks like a belt, a pretty cool looking belt up here with all these like stones. You can't probably see my arrow either, can you? Um, and then this like bracelet that looks like it's got these, um, not dominoes, but that style. And I'd be interested to see this ring. What does that ring look like down there? Okay. What do you, do, let me know if you see something in here that looks good. Uh, let's see a tie clip. What is that? It's like a letter opener with some money in it. <laughs> Um, yeah, it, it can be more expensive. I don't know. I mean, if you get the lot for cheap enough, it's, it's not so bad. Oh, I have a letter opener similar to this that says Toledo on it. It looks like a little sword. I have something like that. And then this one looks, um, I wish you could see my arrow pointing, but you just can't. Down in the bottom, I'm going to point with my finger now because you can't see that either. Um, there's like these beads. They look like dark amber colored. So that might be like a loose side, maybe, or it could be an amber if they don't know what they've got. <clears throat> um, I'm not loving this one. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah, I, I, you know, like I say, I've gotten a couple lots from overseas that were cool. Yeah, this ring is kind of like, eh. so I don't think this is gonna be a go for me. That belt's pretty awesome though, if it's not broken. That could probably sell for a good amount. And then these look like they're some kind of glass beads along here. So, I mean, it's it's a fair lot. How much did they want for that again? 40, 40 bucks? 40 pounds? Yeah, 22 pounds for males. That would be, you know, you have to consider all of that. So 60 pounds, you'd have to make that back. It'd be close. It'd be a maybe. Maybe. Um... I searched, this is on eBay UK, and I searched for vintage lot, I think is what we put in there, vintage jewelry lot. Um, I'm going to probably go in and add another uh, factor in there. And then I did buy it now instead of instead of um, auction, because I don't, I'm not good at auctions. Okay, so this is another one. Yeah, no, I mean, it's got a medallion. I mean, it's a cool necklace. This is one necklace here. And some of the rings look okay. Let's see if there's any more close-ups. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. And then also it's important to check because some of them don't ship internationally. So I didn't even check that um, on this one. Post to worldwide. Okay, yeah. I mean, so, I mean, I guess for five, well, really you're paying about 20 pounds for this. Vintage costume jewelry, bracelets, silver tone. So it's not even silver. If it was silver, then maybe. Uh, and let's see. Okay, so here is 45 pounds. Let's look at this one. Wait, what? Let's make sure they ship internationally, too. Yeah, they post worldwide, 20 pounds. So if you look at it, 65. That one did take offers. This is true. Make an offer. Okay, so let's look closer. So we're thinking, can we make 60 pounds back on this? I see some really pretty stuff in there. That's a really pretty pendant. That ring up there looks really interesting. That bracelet's cool. 
I mean, there's some really pretty pieces. This may be a contender. This down in the bottom, let's see, what side is it on for you? I'm not sure. With the red stone in the center, that's really pretty. Uh, and that brooch is really pretty over there, too. Okay, let's see. Hopefully we get some more up close and personal pictures. Yeah, this one might be a contender. I see some really nice, like there's an Art Nouveau looking. It's either a dress clip or a brooch. And then... I see a pot, little watch over there. Again, that cuff bracelet is really cool. Um, I'll have to read the description on this one. Let's look at some more pictures. That brooch is pretty cool. Really pretty. The green beaded necklace is pretty. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to save this one. The yellow pearls, I think. Are... I want to see up close more on some of these rings. Because I, I like that. And I like these little like gold leaf necklace. That's pretty too. Get up close for me. I love this. It's very like that necklace. You can't see what I'm pointing at. Like Elizabethan-esque or something, you know. All right. Let's see. Oh, wait, wait. Go back. Can we see that ring? That's, that's okay. There's a new, nice enamel one there. Hang on. I wanted to see more up close on some of these rings. Unfortunately, there's like a gold nugget one, right? It's a pretty, pretty lot. And then this kind of like, if you see right by the gold leaf, there's like an Art Deco looking ring. And then right next on the other side of the gold leaf, let me go back and look at it. There's this like Byzantine chain. Let me see, make sure it's like that. If it is what I think it's, where is that leaf? Yeah, it, oh, well, it's not quite a Byzantine chain, but it, it's similar-ish to that style okay this one is a contender let me go read the description on it okay this one very con good condition all wearable uh, cherish slight imperfections i do not sell new jewelry um some rhinestones have a black diamond effect because of their age pink necklace is missing some stones at the end of the chain carefully package okay the red pen oh isn't it really pretty okay so what I'm gonna do because this is what I did last time so I'll save this one but then I want to go and look at this um, seller's shop just to see if there's anything if they have any other lots because I figure if they do this if they have a nice lot maybe they've got more than one Ooh, I like this and now if you swoop in and buy it out from under me that's fine good for this seller right um, I was thinking that I was like oh watch me do this and then somebody gets like I'm gonna go buy it instead of you <laughs> that's fine <laughs> all right so I'm looking to see can I search within a, her shop let's see how do we do this hmm search this shop okay let's search for a lot in this shop oh good she's got more there's the one with the purse let's take a look at Oh, that's the same one with the belt. Okay, cool, cool. Then we've got, this is, uh, oh, for wear and repair. Pass. All wearable black vintage lot. Okay. Uh, I'm not really wanting, I got plenty of black stuff. Oh, I have some of these bracelets. Hmm, interesting. Uh, is that the, oh, those are the only lots that she's got. Okay, that's cool, because we're going to hang on to that one. We'll keep that open there. And then let's go. Jewelry, jewelry. I don't know. Good question. I see, but I see it both ways. I see it both ways. So here's this lot. These are brooches, pins, and a scarf ring. It says. I don't know for twenty five. I mean that's a really pretty cameo. Look at that brooch with the abalone. That's unusual. Some of these are really cool. Like if you look at them, really unusual. The one with the big blue stone in the center. That's really pretty. And then this with the kind of amethyst color, it's got that like Celtic knotwork around it. Once you really start looking at them, they look nicer. I don't know if that's a real cameo though. It doesn't, I mean, some people don't care, but. Jeweler. Oh, okay, cool, cool. I wish they, I hope she shows the backs on these because I want to see the backs. Wait, let's go back and look at this portrait one. Some of the portrait ones are just like a transfer and some of them are actually painted. I bet this one's a transfer because it's a little like white chippy in the corner there hmm oh here we go oh maybe it is a shell cameo okay 
So there's that one. I want to see the backs of the others. Yeah, you can't see. You see the stone on that one. Well, and then I guess the other chick is a, a scarf clip. Okay, okay. Um, no additional import. What does this say? Eighteen twenty-two. I don't think I would pay fifty bucks, about fifty bucks, for this lot, because that's what like. No. <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 40, 40. I mean, it's about 5 bucks a brooch. So if you look at it that way, well, it's not bad, but I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get that one. All right, let's take a look. Sorry if this is super boring. I was like, why not? Let's just come on and let's do this together. So this one, you get this jewelry. I'm not, I mean, it's okay. I'm not loving it. I like things that look like they have a little more age to them, personally. And these ones just kind of look, eh, they're okay. The pictures are a little blurry. Okay, I'm going to pass on that one. What's the price? 45 bucks. No, plus 18 whatever for shipping. Pass. They accept. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> um, okay, here's one. Oh, dear. Post two. Will post okay, so wow, they're very specific about what they will post or not post. So 25 bucks there, and we're get, I'm just gonna tack on 20 bucks for shipping. I'm guessing. So let's look at this one, <clears throat> okay? So this is kind of a mix of women's jewelry and men's jewelry because there's cufflinks there, there's a tie bar that a looks like it could be a locket, maybe. And then this like abalone kind of chip brooch. That one's missing some stones. That stag is really cool. And this rose looks like it's probably bone or celluloid, one or the other. And then this is probably a transfer, that love story brooch. Huh. It would have to be cheaper. This mother pin is really cool, but for me to get it, yeah, that looks like it's bone. This one looks like it's maybe celluloid, maybe bone. But it's totally old. It's got a seat clasp on it. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to go on that one either. <laughs> All right, pass. Okay. And this one is nine pounds post worldwide. Six ninety five. Okay, so maybe we're looking at twenty bucks. Okay, let's see. I mean, there's some pretty enamel there, and the little poodle is cute. That uh, abalone inlay is pretty. Bowling club. Hmm. Yeah, but I'd rather have a lot that had like a mix of stuff. I think. Okay, so that's a good one if you're looking for something that looks reasonable. Do they have lots of Victorian? That's a good question. Let's look. We'll look for that one next. Okay, that's the one we're holding on to. And let's look at these rings, and then we'll search a Victorian lot, and we'll do like an Art Deco. Is it just those rings, really? It's just those rings. That's it. How much do they want for those? Okay, I'm gonna pass on that. <laughs> we'll just say no. Um, vint okay, so let's do Victorian. Victorian. Should I spell jewelry the way they spell jewelry? Do you think it'll matter? Matter? Jewelry. Victorian jewelry lot. Ooh, good call. Wow, out of my price range. <laughs> um, yeah. Hmm. Let's look anyway. How about it? Let's just torture ourselves. This is why I don't like window shopping. I don't like go to the mall to like window shop or my husband likes to want, he wants to go like test driving cars. And to me, that's just like, why would you do that to yourself? Because you can't buy it. A lot of Victorian jewelry. Okay, we're going to look. We're going to look at some of these. I can't afford you. We're going to look. That's pretty. Okay, there's a couple that are kind of in our price range. 
What's wrong with this lot? 689. Okay, I'm pulling up some Victorian vintage ladies' brooches. Those aren't, I mean, maybe there's a brooch in there, maybe? I don't know. Okay, good call. I'm going to look and see. Wow, $200. Hello, how's it going? Um, we're looking at lots to buy, maybe. And some of these are out of our price range. That's really pretty. Okay, we'll look at some of these. Okay, let's go look. Tell me if this is super boring or if it's not. <laughs> Let me scooch this up a little bit. There we go. Okay. I think it's fun, but <laughs> they say from, oh, they say, some of them say from the United States, where it ships from. Mmm. Yeah. Okay. Because some people can post their listings over in eBay UK or whatever. So I guess I should watch for that. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter, does it? It doesn't. Um, where's this one from? I don't know. We'll see. All right, let's just look at it first. So, this one's got like the boy in blue, whatever he's called. Um, those are pretty earrings. And that kind of looks like amber. Look at this. That looks like it's carved on, um, oh, what's that shell? And these look like they might be coral beads. Oh, what is the name of that shell, you guys? But they also carve cameos on the, mm, okay, I can't think of it. So this looks like it's either um, copal, this like, just from the look of it, you see the little bursts in it. So sometimes with amber, they will take and like the pieces that are left over, let's say they carve something or make another piece of jewelry, and then they fuse the other pieces of amber back together to like make a, a thing like this. And they'll get, they'll have these little like spots, sunspots, they call them sunspots, I think, in there. Um, so it could be that. Because it looks like maybe a silver hook on there. Oh, well, look at that ring. That's pretty. Is it like a beach scene or something? There's the blue boy. This isn't so bad. I want to see that ring's face. <gasps> look at that brooch. Oh my gosh, that's really pretty. And then these are Damascene, these cufflinks depending. I sold a Damascene bracelet for good money. Sometimes they don't sell for that amazing amount. This is a nice lot. What did we say this was? Oh, those are pretty too. Oh, please let this not be one of those crazy expensive plots. Oh my gosh. Okay, forget it. I can't afford that one. <clears throat> yeah, they'll like, they'll like smoosh the pieces, melt, remelt it together. Okay, why did we decide we were, this is why I don't like window shopping. Oh, <sighs> Cause then you're like, oh, that looks really cool. Oh, it's $189. Never mind. Okay, this one looks really pretty too. This is I have to remind myself. We are window shopping. We can't afford this lot. Cause that looks like jet up there. Looks like jet or like gutta. What do you call it? Gutta percha. I always say it wrong. Where it's like carved bog bark or something like that. Look at this little uh, charm bracelet. That's so cute. And that little angry face. Little rabbit. Okay, some pretty rings. And this looks like gold or gold tone. Hey, everybody! <laughs> Thanks for coming to hang out. I'm just looking at jewelry, deciding if I should buy it or not. This is, and we can't afford this one. So, this one looks like. I wonder if this is one of those reverse painted little. You can't see what I'm pointing at, which is super annoying on my end. I'm sure it's annoying for you too. But these brooches are nice. That one looks like it's carved. Maybe jet too. And then that one with the flowers on it looks like it could be, um, I don't know, Norse or something. Not Norse, but it has more of a Scandinavian feel. I think. I could be totally wrong. Is the, ooh, I don't know. I closed it out. I closed out my, uh, I'll have to look it up again. See, and then there's some like black, maybe onyx rings and this really pretty watch. Why did I agree to do this? I blame you, Dan. <laughs> All right, so that's a nice lot that we can't afford. Darn it. All right, fine. Putting it away. Okay, $41. This is a little more reasonable. 
This one, see, look, it's got some cool pictures in there. Some little vintage pictures. And this cameo is really cool. Really? That was a really cheap lot then. Because that cameo looks like it's a real cameo. It's got some cool pieces. That bracelet's really interesting. And that looks like maybe some kind of agate. I'm not sure. <clears throat> and then these look like maybe, I don't know, they're not complete pieces, so they're just bits, I guess. Or maybe this lot is like a broken lot. Oh, I forget what this is called with the like little gold flecks in it. This is true, Dan. This is true. Yeah. I wonder if the back of that cameo is broken. It doesn't say. It was, oh, it was an auction diary. As uh, fast and free. Good to know. But is it Victorian gold filled jewelry lot? Gold filled, some mark, some are mark. Sold as is for parts, project, or repeat. That's actually not that bad. Because that looks, I mean, yeah, there's some pieces. I don't do repairs. But this cameo looks really nice. And some of these, like old, I don't know, daguerreotypes, is that what they call them? And that necklace is pretty cool. With that is that, that's not the Tudor rose, because it's got too many petals going around it. I think. <laughs> okay, $45. Is this one that's broken too? Because I don't want to waste my time. Uh, I, think, I wish they'd say in the. Okay, all sales final, just so you know. 45 bucks. And this is like, yeah. Mm, no. I mean, that's a pretty brooch. But no, I'm not loving this one. Okay, here's one. $285. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're going in. We're going in. We're going in. Just because we can't afford it. <laughs> okay. I wish the pictures were brighter, but there's a little elephant over there. Okay, a little lock. I don't know if they have the key for it or if it needs one. There's a mason, like, key fob or a watch fob, rather. Hmm, that's a watch fob, too, I think. This is all, like, bits, too. I mean, there's some pretty rings. <laughs> if nothing else, you get my thought process, I guess. That's kind of cool. I don't know. I mean, the watch is cool, but no. How much do they want for this again? No. Sorry. No, pass. Okay, 40 bucks. Art Nouveau. Mm, yeah. It's not what I'm looking for. I mean, the pin, the brooches are vintage. They've got the C-class. That's cool. No. <laughs> I think our first lot was our first bet so far. 250 bucks. Okay, let's look. Let's go see. That is a really cool looking bracelet with a cameo on it right there. There's lots of cool lockets. Hmm. There's an inlaid brooch there. That's cool. I want to see more of that bracelet with the cameo though. They're not gonna. And that one's got like verdigris on it over there. Nope. Nope. It's a pass. It's a hard no with the verdigris. It's got pictures in it, which is nice, but. I like bracelets that do that when you like open them and they have the little piece inside. Um, oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'll, uh, some of it I would buy to keep like I did these two other lots and some of it's like okay I'll keep some and then some's to resell and then some's because I'm gonna do a giveaway but I was like oh I want to get a little bit more I don't know I mean there were some cool pieces there but I don't know gold filled jewelry no it's too much for that I think okay eighty nine dollars gold lot signed gold filled jade pin bracelet sterling and more it's still more than I want to pay Approximately 60, okay. oh, U.S. this much. Is it shipping from the U.S.? Oh, this is in Massachusetts. Okay, so it's still more than I want to spend. Hmm. I'm looking for the Victorian. Let me know when you see it. I see the Ten Commandments. 
That's a nice bracelet, but... Did I miss something? I'm not seeing any Victorian jewelry here. Hmm, let's take a peek again. Victorian sign, gold filled jade. Alright, let's look one more time. Can you spy the jade? Is that the jade? Is that the green up there? I can't find it. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, I don't. Um, okay, I didn't see it. All right, that's a pass. Not only is it not, I mean, unless I'm, <laughs> unless I'm missing it, I didn't see any Victoria nor did I see Jade. Okay, cool. Okay, this one is in the U.S. as well, it looks like. Conroe, wow, that's not far from Houston. Um, that's got a missing stone. But that big green one is really pretty. Can y'all see that okay? That's really pretty. I mean, it's a uh, reproduction. Vintage lot brooches. Victorian style. Good. See? Good job. Fast and free. <sighs> I don't know. That, that other one is still my favorite, so. Mm. Did this one pull up from our Victorian search, too? Victorian vintage ladies. Great lot of Victorian vintage ladies. I'm trying to see where the Victorian is in here. Maybe the swoopy style of this necklace they thought was Victorian? I don't know. Okay, pass. Moving on, because we haven't even looked at eBay France yet. Uh, this is also in the U.S. Okay. Where are you? Colorado. Lot to wear and repair. Okay, I'm just going to pass because I'm not going to repair anything. And that's in the U.S. too. Okay, pass. Pass, pass, pass. And that one too. Okay, so, so far that is our contender right here. This one with the cool stuff. That one does look like that ring is missing some stones. But there's really a lot of other cool stuff in there. Okay, let's go look at eBay France. And then what do we what do we search? Um, vintage jewelry lot, and then search. I had a harder time looking in eBay France when I was searching for a lot to buy. I don't know if it's a they just don't do it as much or what. But I I didn't find last time I looked I couldn't find as many immediate purchase please not the lot. Yeah, see, mm. 120 euros. What's euros to American? <laughs> Is it? It's about the same, right? Because that seems like it would be a lot. It's just not. That's too much. I don't know. What's the exchange rate for euros? I think it's about the same, right? Let's see. Let's do ten dollars to euros. To euros. You gotta know. It's a little bit less. Okay. All right. So we're still looking. We're still looking for about the same price range. Gold tone mixed jewelry. That's a, like to make stuff with. Come on, eBay France. Harvest for scraps. Harvest for scraps. Oh, I don't want to harvest. I got a really good lot last time, though. This is a big lot. Wow. Okay, I'm going to open that in another tab. We'll look at that one in a second. We may already have our winner. Why are these plates showing up? Oh, jewelry stands. Oh, see, and that's it. Let's do, let's take out vintage and let's do, let's do Victorian again. And then maybe we'll try Edwardian. Okay, Victorian. I think I, I may have put Art Deco in my last one, or Art Nouveau, one or the other. Oh, look, see, some of these are coming up. Look, I want France only. France only. We saw this one already. I think one of the cats is trying to get in. Um, vintage to now. Good afternoon. We're just looking at jewelry today. Oh, wait, we do that most days. <laughs> Never mind. 
But we're looking at jewelry on eBay France. Okay, so here's one. Look, it says it's in the United States. Provenance, United States. Well, we'll look at it. Fine. We'll do what we can do. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. I guess people are just sharing their listings in eBay France, eBay UK. $454, man. No. It's expensive. Well, I mean, it, it might be worth it. Look, this one might be pretty. Okay, we'll look at this one. That one's in Canada. All right, I guess if you took the trouble to share it over here. This one. Man, come on, eBay France. The yeah, last time I had the same issue, like I really had to dig to find a good lot. Oh, who wants some feathers? Hey, thank you. No, thank you. Thank you in the chat. Thank you, Dan. Oh, gosh, no. No feathers. Okay, let's look at the ones we pulled up. Oh, cool, Kimberly. I The last time I was in the UK, I... I wasn't, I, we went to some thrift stores, but it was more because I liked shopping thrift stores for clothes. And now I'm like, oh gosh, that would have been fun to go through and see other stuff. Charity shops, I guess. This is a really pretty lot, even though this is the one that's like crazy, crazy expensive. I, I'll look at that one. I'll look at uh, Art Deco next. Man, this one is really tempting. Some of the, the, the necklaces aren't so awesome. I don't know. How much did I say I was going to spend again? There's some nice... I mean, I think this one would get your money back. There's some pretty faux pearls, most likely. There's lots of pretty pretties in there. That's for sure. Hmm. I'm going to... Yeah. Oh, look, there's a bee. Look, I'll buy it for my sister. Uh -huh. How much was this again? Man, that's really expensive. <laughs> really? That much for shipping? All right. Well, we'll just we'll just think about that. It's all intertwined. I know you know, and you know how I love detangling things. Thank you. You just made my mind up for that one. <laughs> um. Okay. So this one is forty. Where are you? Oh, this one's in Canada. Yeah. Okay. Wait, we saw this one. Wait, not Canada. What does it say? California. Les états unis right? That's in the United States. Voici. Okay, so... <clears throat> we've already seen this one. Pass. And... I know this one's in the U.S. too, isn't it? Dayton, Ohio. Doesn't get more Victorian than Dayton, Ohio. Um, yeah, these are like buttons that... Um, I mean, it's pretty, but what is this red one? Is that a brooch? No, it's just like a piece. No, okay. Okay, well, I think we've made, let's, what did we say we were going to look at Art Deco? Did I already search that for Art Deco? Because here we have it. That ring is pretty. Ah, oh, okay, what is this one? How much is that? This is in Canada. Hmm. 20% off, it says. That's a really pretty brooch, though, with that kind of amethyst stone in the center. Very pretty stuff. Huh. Sorry, I'm thinking. But still, like 70... What is that in American? Really? Oh, cool! <laughs> 76 Canadian dollars to, I don't know what the exchange rate is from, U.S. dollars. 76, what is it, C-A-D, to U.S.D. It's $59. See, but I'd like to get more, because it's still, like, a lot. <clears throat> okay, is this still in, this is Victorian. Okay, let's do Art Deco. So that might have been what I searched for France last time. It was either Art Deco or Art Nouveau, I think. Look, that's... Uh, look, it says France only, is what I said. It's still pulling up things in the United States. Okay. 
Well, I guess we've got one that we'll look at, right? Do, 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 do. No, no. See, because I'm not wanting parts and bits. It seems like a lot of these are... No, that's really pretty. Mm -hmm -hmm. 3358. Let's look at this. But that doesn't look like it's really old. It looks reproduction. Yeah. That's not really real old. It's just reproduction. <clears throat> oh, the name of the jewelry group is Texas Gals Jewelry Lovers. Jewelry. Let's enunciate. Jewelry Lovers. Okay, so if nobody has swooped in to get this one. I may go in and get this a lot to do a haul when it finally gets here because usually it takes a little time for them to come. So I'm going to do that. I need to look at some U.S. lots as well because I haven't really done a whole lot of buying from U.S. eBay U.S. lots. So I might try that or get one off of Etsy or something. Maybe we'll look through those one sometime and uh, see what we can find. Okay, I found a lot that I'm going to get. I would buy it in front of you, but I don't remember if it pulls up all my banking information or not. So I hope you guys are doing really well. We're going to be going to Houston to, you know, homeschool stuff and see my family and all that stuff. So I might try to find some jewelry jars. Not that I don't still have some over here. Um, and again, I, if you've been watching and you've noticed like a few extra videos of mine coming up, I had to, I had some problems with a couple of my videos. So I had to take them down, fix them, and I have to re-upload them. So you might see some days where I get like three or four videos that I have to re-upload. So, um, Oh, cool. Okay, yeah, post it in there, and we'll see what if we can figure out what the stone is, for sure. Okay, I think that's it. <laughs> I've never really done this before. Where I just went through and looked at lots with you guys, so I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't super boring. Um, but go over there. Let's see how many we got. We got 44 friends watching. Go hit the thumbs up, you guys, and I will talk to you guys soon. And I'll, Yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great evening, everybody. <laughs> Bye.